Gaudi é foda, né? What's up guys, so welcome back to the garage. Um, we did have an introduction, but I accidentally deleted it as I was going through the clips that we recorded. But anywho, it was an unpackaging of the hack swine um, kit that he had sent, sent over to me. So here we go, this is a single fan relay. Um, everything is labeled. We got this one that goes straight to the chassis. It says chassis on there. This is the, he's got his brand right here, hacks wiring. And then this one spits down, goes to the fan, and then also another ground wire. And then this long lead right here goes to the battery and alternator, or alternator. Um, he also sent me the dual fan adapter, so I do plan on running uh, two fans, I can go ahead and just clip this on, and then these ones can spit off and go to each fan. Um, the quality of work on these harnesses are awesome. He, he really took his time. Everything looks so well. Everything's put together very well labeled it's, it's easy to install this is the uh, relay right here there we go everything looks good um he's his quality of work is very very well done so i appreciate you hacks let's go ahead and get today's video started all uh, right guys so it's actually the next day um i also have to uh i asked hacks if you could actually send me some um uh female adapters because the hybrid racing fan that we got doesn't have a connector to plug to his connector so he went ahead sent me some extras and the terminals too so appreciate you my brother a few shout outs to you um, also we got a few packages i mean a few packages a few parts from bull boost performance that i've ordered um last week and we got them in yesterday uh shout out to bull boost pretty fast shipping if you ask me i think i ordered it on thursday and i well, wednesday and i got it yesterday um, so, you shout to them. I got the uh, evac plug that we're going to be putting on to the intake manifold. Um, also got the hardware for the shift linkage. I mean, shifter cables. When we are ready to get those installed, uh, we need these ones as well. Um, we need exhaust manifold head studs because we don't have no studs currently. And then, of course, we have our exhaust manifold from Bull Boost. So, shout to Bull Boost. Very fast shipping, affordable prices. Um, if you guys are looking, See anything from there? Um, I highly recommend ordering. I mean, like I said, the shipping is very fast, and the prices are affordable, if you, especially if you're going on a budget. Why not? I see other people using uh, using their stuff, like Doug Sadik, for example. He runs their um, some parts on his build. He's currently running some right now on his uh, EF sedan build, which I'm actually excited to see. I can't wait for that thing to get done. So, if you guys are interested in some parts, man, hit up Bobo's. Um, very fast shipping and pretty decent quality parts. All right, so here's the harness, uh, hack wiring harness, everything is labeled. So chassis, this plug actually right here is gonna plug into your factory fan plug. So that's gonna go like this. And then you have your, um, your relay, which we're gonna find a spot to mount it to. And then you've got your wire that goes to the battery or alternator and then lastly is your ground so right now i'm looking for a spot to mount the main re i mean the relay to and i'm thinking about using the spot that was um right there i believe that was one of the spots for the overflow tank the coolant reservoir so we'll probably mount the relay there um, i got some of those zip ties uh strap things that are coming in from amazon um, and then I'll just run the wire down that way, follow along and plug right into the fan. Also, um, I did a little, little um, modifications the other day. So I found this uh, overflow tank that I forgot that I had, it's brand new. So I figured I'd put it to use instead of ordering an aftermarket one for now. Um, so what I did was I kind of modified the stock bracket, cut it, mounted it, fit it here, kind of tucked it away. So now all we gotta do is run a line from here all the way to the uh, water neck. It's tucked away and so easy accessible. Kinda gotta use what you got, man, to save some money, you know what I mean? So we'll probably use this for now until later on, we can probably upgrade to a little fancy overflow tank. But for now, this thing will do.
right, so we got that relay kind of tucked away, and then this will come this way. Um, and then as we do the headlight tuck, everything will come down this way. And then the fence, which will probably plug it somewhere, somewhere around here. I'll have it tucked away, I'll figure it out from here, but at least we got the relay tucked away and so easily to get to. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add the terminals to the fence, so that way we can make everything plug and play and, and um, use uh, the extra plugs that Hacks has sent us and the terminals that he sent with them. So let's go ahead and get these things cut off, get the terminals um, put together, and then we can put it into the plug and everything should be plug and play from there. Just like that, our fan is now plug and play with hacks wiring kit. Uh, we'll probably have the wires run somewhere along this. Like I said, tuck it, and then um, we gotta connect the ground wire too. So I'm just waiting for the those zip ties, little clamp things that you know pin into the frame, so we can uh, get everything aligned correctly and, and tucked away. All right, now we got this Bobo's Evap plug. Get this thing out so we can mount it onto the intake manifold. Here's the hardware. So we go. And then we have the plug. So this plug's gonna sit onto the intake manifold where the EVAP is, right here. Well, it actually fit pretty nice. Has a little gasket or ring around it too, so it doesn't leak. And I just dropped the dang bolts. Here we go. Let's get this thing nice and tight. Nice and snug since we won't be using this part. Here we go. All right, now I'm trying to get this studs on. I can open it up. I should get this opened up real quick. Well, we're not going to be able to run these. Um, see here, it says stainless intake exhaust manifold studs. Studs for hot air acro BDK and H series. Fortunately, that's not the case. These things do not fit the exhaust side. But it says stainless intake exhaust manifold. Or did I just get the wrong one? Let me know down in the comments below if I got the wrong one. Um, I need the ones for the exhaust side, so. Yeah, that sucks. Well, that didn't go as planned, so let's just go ahead and put on the uh, half shaft and get these yard knocker axles on. Um, I do have, uh, the axles didn't come with axle nuts, but I do have one that's still good. And it should fit because it's supposed to be a 32 mil. And I believe the other ones came with the one. So we should be good. Just make sure, yep. So we got two axle nuts, which means we can go ahead and get the axles on. Um, and then we gotta figure out those ex the exhaust manifold studs. Man, I need to get those studs. That way we can go ahead and throw the headers on and continue to make more progress on the hatch. But for now, we'll just go ahead and do this. 
Um, and then we'll see what else we can make some more uh, room for in, uh, as far as installing today. Um, I really would like to get the uh, K20 water pump housing and oil cooler on. Uh, but we'll see with, uh, with what we got going on afterwards and um, do we have any more free time for today. So let's get to it.
Here we go. We got the uh, half shaft and both axles in. Um, I put one of the ground wires here because I know there's three grounds that you need. You need one to the intake manifold, one to the valve cover, and then the other one's to the trans. So on the trans side, I don't have the bracket that's usually either here or up front to put the ground um, to the chassis from the transmission. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put put it at. Um, I don't know, I was maybe trying to think about using utilizing this bracket here for it. Or I'm not sure yet, so I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. Um, but we made some progress on the house today. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, I wanted to come and knock out this video in the morning. That way, I can have uh, my free time later on to go and watch the Niners beat the Packers. So let's go, Niners! Let's hope we get this dub so we can end up going to the championship. That way, we can make it to the Super Bowl once again this year. And we're still on the quest for six. But um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, go ahead and like the video now. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, once again, we are planning on doing a thousand sub giveaway um, in the future. Uh, as soon as we ever get close to hitting that thousand subs, then we'll go ahead and I'll drop a video on the giveaway announcing that it's time to do the giveaway. So for now, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my socials. You can follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. I'll leave them in the links below. Also, if you're looking for any wiring harness or adapters that you may need, um, hit up Hacks Wiring on Instagram. I'll leave his Instagram down below too as well in the, in the near future videos. That way it's always there for you know whoever who needs them. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap it up. Go Niners, let's beat the packs, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.